Ladies and gentlemen, this is a story that came out November 12th, 2018, News One. And of course, the police association is now trying to come up with a new excuse for Amber Geiger. And ladies and gentlemen, it just doesn't work, nor does it make any sense. And it just go to show you these folks that are in the position where they could really be positive. They don't do anything but spend time covering for each other. The only time we see cops work hard is when one of them get in trouble and they all go above and beyond to cover for that person. Only if they went above and beyond like that all the time in the public, we wouldn't have any issues with the police. They serve and protect each other. Amber Geiger is no longer a police officer. And you see they're still going all out for her is if she's still on that police force. And see, and ladies and gentlemen, this is why to this day, nobody knows Amber Geiger's whereabouts because they are protecting her in ways that your average citizen never get protection. So this News One article tells us that Dallas Police Association pushing the narrative that Amber Geiger was overworked. Ladies and gentlemen, how many times have you worked a lot of hours and you still had to come home and take care of your family or even do other things outside of your job and you were exhausted? Did you shoot anybody? Did you go to the wrong house? Very poor excuse. When did fatigue make you shoot someone? Very good question. <laughs> Woo, these cops must think everybody is dumber than they are. Now that district attorney, Faith Johnson, who is a black Republican woman, has been voted out, thank goodness only good thing that has happened out of this whole thing. And retired Judge John Cruza, who said Amber Geiger should be charged with murder, was voted in by a landslide. Yeah, he really tore <laughs> Faith Johnson up. I think he got over 60% of the votes. So, you know, she got defeated by a big margin. The Dallas Police Association appeared to be working at a frantic pace to protect 30-year-old officer. Well, she's a former officer now. The president of the Dallas Police Association is using Geiger as an example of police being overworked and tired. Bullshit. Police is not even among the top 10 most dangerous jobs. And I'm here to tell you, these cops aren't working any harder than any of us. I have been out, ladies and gentlemen, in public and seen cops sleeping in their patrol cars. They ain't, <laughs> trust me, they are not working hard. You know, they always want to spin that garbage when one of us in the black community gets killed. Now the cops are the a step away from fake Christ himself. I mean, serious. That's what they want you to do. They want to anoint them to some higher power or something. And they are not anything like that, nor will they ever be anything like that. Okay, let's get out of fantasy land and step into reality. Dallas News reported the department recently was criticized for the long hours cops worked after off-duty officer Amber Geiger fatally shot 26-year-old Botham John inside his own apartment. Really? 
Amber Geiger lived by herself, according to all of the people that lived in that apartment building. She didn't have anybody living with her. How many officers do you know that live alone, walk up to their own door and say, let me in? Boy, they are, you know what? They are actually making it worse for her. They're actually making it worse. Geiger was in full uniform and reportedly had just gotten off a 15 hour shift. So what? How many people work double shifts and all kinds of overtime? and they still don't go to the wrong home or apartment. There's people that put in all kinds of hours in their work week and they don't still go home to no wrong house or apartment. And if she couldn't handle a 15 hour shift, then she should have looked for another profession. So no, no, you can't use that excuse. She told investigators she went to the wrong floor and tried to get into John's apartment, believing it was her own. And people that witnessed that whole thing said it was a major commotion. You know, she's definitely not telling the truth. The internal review of work hour policies in the police department began almost a year before the September shooting. Magically gaining access to someone's apartment and shooting them dead in cold blood is not an example of fatigue. Thank you. It sure isn't. Again, how many of us have been tired and we still know where we live? And then when we get to our home, we ain't killing nobody or shooting nobody <laughs> or putting anybody in danger because we're tired. Nonetheless, Michael Mata, president of the Dallas Police Association, finds a connection. This was being looked at way before the Geiger shooting, he continued. It all comes down to really, we don't have enough officers. Again, what does that have to do with the Botham John shooting? No wonder why these cops are bad at doing their jobs. They're bad at doing their jobs because their thinking ability is extremely poor, as you can see in this article. No, it comes down to not having a culture of corruption that defends cops, even if someone is gunned down in their own home. Clearly, fatigue will be the excuse if Geiger is indicted. And, and they're right. That's what they're trying to set this whole thing up for. Last week, District Attorney-elect Cruza told NBC in Dallas, I don't know any police reports. I don't know any forensic reports, but based on what I have seen, manslaughter is an inappropriate charge based on the circumstances as I understand them. Once I get in there and get everything in front of me and it appears the most appropriate charge is murder, then that's the charge we will go forward with. He also said anything less than murder deviates from Dallas County President. Amber Geiger shot and killed Botham John on September 6th. Three days later, 
she was in jail for around an hour, charged with manslaughter and has been free on the streets ever since. And that is a disgrace. That's a disgrace. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is Faith Johnson, the DA, the sitting DA, her fault, Dallas police, and the Texas Rangers. They are the ones responsible for Amber Geiger running free today. And they are the ones responsible for continuing to cover up for her. Where is she? What's her whereabouts? Everything is being kept secret because they are all protecting her. They're all in on it. It doesn't matter if she's no longer officially on the police force, but they're still treating her like she is one of them. But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen, about this BS the Dallas Police Association is putting out about Amber Geiger having fatigue and overworked. Give me a damn break. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I will see you on the next video. Peace, family.